In this video, we will take you through the journey of Maserati, a brand that has been synonymous with high-performance sports cars since its inception. From its early beginnings to its current status as a luxury car brand, Maserati has a rich history of producing high-performance sports cars that are admired around the world. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride! The Early Years Maserati was founded by Alfieri Maserati and his brothers, Ettore and Ernesto, in 1914 in Bologna, Italy. They were all passionate about cars and racing, and they set out to create their own company. Over the next few years, Maserati continued to produce racing cars and achieved great success on the track. In 1939, the company moved to Medina, where it still has its headquarters today. Alfieri Maserati, the eldest of the Maserati brothers, was the driving force behind the creation of the company. He had previously worked for companies such as Isata Fraschini and Diado before starting his own business. The original name of the company was Societa Anonima Officine Alfieri Maserati, which translates to Alfieri Maserati Workshop Public Company. Maserati's first headquarters were located in a small garage in Bologna. The garage had previously been used by another car manufacturer, Diado, which had gone out of business. The Tipo 26, Maserati's first car, was powered by a 1.5-liter straight-six engine and produced 90 horsepower. It had a top speed of around 90 miles per hour. It was a racing car that competed in the 1926 Targa Florio race and won. Maserati's early racing successes helped to establish the brand's reputation for high-performance sports cars. In addition to the Tipo 20 SIXS victory at the Targa Florio in 1926, Maserati also won the Indianapolis 500 twice in 1939 and 1940. In 1937, the Maserati brothers sold the company to the Orsi family, who owned a successful agricultural machinery company. The Orsis continued to run the company until 1968, when it was sold to Citroën. The Maserati Triton logo was created by Mario Maserati, another brother of Alfieri. The logo was inspired by the Fountain of Neptune in Bologna, which features a Triton held by the statue of Neptune. Maserati's early cars were known for their innovative engineering, such as the use of four-wheel hydraulic brakes and the incorporation of superchargers in some models. The Maserati brothers were all skilled mechanics and engineers, and they were involved in all aspects of the company's operations, from designing the cars to building them by hand. Despite facing financial difficulties over the years, Maserati has managed to survive and thrive as a luxury car brand, thanks in part to its strong racing heritage and its reputation for producing high-performance sports cars. The Golden Age in the 1950s and 1960s, Maserati enjoyed its golden age. They produced some of their most iconic cars during this time, such as the 250F. And around this time, Maserati dominated the Formula One circuit, winning two championships in 1954 and 1957. The company's drivers included the legendary one Manuel Fangio, who won both championships driving a Maserati 250F. They also began to produce road cars, such as the 3500 GT, which was introduced in 1957. During this time, Maserati also collaborated with other luxury brands such as Citroën and De Tomaso to produce cars such as the Citroën SM and the De Tomaso Mangusta. In the 1960s, Maserati introduced the stunning 3500 GT, a luxury Grand Tour that was praised for its elegant design and powerful engine. The 3500 GT helped to establish Maserati as a leading luxury car brand. Maserati's most iconic car from this era is arguably the Tipo 61 Birdcage, a lightweight sports car that featured a space frame chassis made up of over 200 small tubes. The Birdcage won numerous races in the early 1960s, including the prestigious Nürburgring 1000 km race in 1960. Maserati also introduced the Ghibli in 1967, a stylish sports car that was powered by a V8 engine. The Ghibli was a commercial success and helped to establish Maserati as a luxury brand. 
During the 1960s, Maserati faced financial difficulties and was eventually sold to the French automaker Citroën in 1968. Citroën invested heavily in Maserati and helped to develop some of the company's most iconic models, including the Bora and the Camsine. Maserati's golden age was a time of innovation and creativity, as the company produced some of its most memorable cars and dominated the world of motorsport. Today, these cars are highly sought after by collectors and enthusiasts alike, and they continue to be admired for their beauty, performance, and engineering excellence. Troubled Times In the 1970s, Maserati went through a difficult period, and it was acquired by the Italian state-owned company Jeppi, which invested heavily in the company and helped to develop the Biturbo, a compact executive car that was designed to compete with the likes of BMW and Mercedes-Benz. Later in the 70s, the company was acquired by Alejandro de Tomaso, an Argentinian industrialist. De Tomaso helped to turn the company around and introduced new models such as the Quattroport and the Biturbo. But the Biturbo was plagued by reliability issues and poor build quality, which hurt Maserati's reputation and sales. Under De Tomaso's ownership, Maserati introduced the Chamal and the Ghibli II, both of which were well received by critics but failed to generate significant sales. De Tomaso also invested in a new factory in Medina, which was intended to boost production and efficiency. Despite these efforts, Maserati continued to face financial difficulties in the 1990s and production was temporarily halted in 1993. The company was eventually sold to Fiat in 1993, which invested heavily in the brand and helped to launch the Quattroport and the 3200 GT. The Quattroport and the 3200 GT were critical and commercial successes for Maserati, helping to revive the brand's reputation and sales. These models were praised for their styling and performance. The 3200 GT was the first Maserati model to feature a Ferrari-designed engine. The Modern Era Maserati continued to produce high-performance cars throughout the 2000s with the introduction of models such as the Gran Turismo, the MC12, and the Quattroport 5 which were well-received by critics and helped to boost the company's reputation and sales. Under Fiat's ownership, Maserati underwent a complete transformation. The company began producing high-performance luxury cars that were designed to compete with the likes of Mercedes-Benz and BMW. In 2007, Maserati introduced the Gran Turismo, a two-door coupe that was powered by a V8 engine. The Gran Turismo was an instant hit and helped to establish Maserati as a serious player in the luxury car market. In recent years, Maserati has continued to produce high-performance luxury cars. The company has also embraced hybrid technology and has introduced hybrid versions of some of its most popular models. Maserati has since expanded its lineup to include the Levant, a luxury SUV that was introduced in 2016. The Levant has been a critical and commercial success for Maserati, helping to boost the brand's sales and visibility. In 2020, Maserati launched the MC20, a high-performance sports car that is powered by a new Maserati-designed engine. The MC20 is the first Maserati model to feature a mid-engine layout and is intended to compete with other high-performance sports cars such as the Ferrari F8 Tributo and the Lamborghini Ur. Present Times Today, Maserati continues to produce some of the most desirable cars in the world. With a focus on luxury, style, and performance, Maserati is a brand that has captured the hearts of car enthusiasts for over a century. Maserati has come a long way since its humble beginnings in 1914. From its early days as a racing car manufacturer to its current status as a luxury car brand, Maserati has always been associated with high performance, style, and elegance. And despite facing numerous challenges over the years, Maserati has managed to adapt and evolve, remaining at the forefront of the luxury car market. Did you enjoy this video? Then please like and subscribe for more of the best new vehicle videos here at Finest Vehicles.